Hi, uh, welcome to Just Praise Him. I uh, want to welcome uh, Cesar and Catherine and Arnold and Victoria and let's see who else. Uh, just everybody, thanks for coming and being part of this fellowship. Uh, it's just uh, an honor to be your pastor. So I want to talk this week about communion. Communion is something that well, for many years, I did not take because I, well, it was an era in teaching. And uh, I'll, get to, I'll get to that in a moment, but it's very important that we take communion today. And, I mean, you can do it daily if you want. You can do it weekly. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do, but it, it just matters that you do it with the manner of which it is meant to be. Now, again, I, I, I get into that in a minute, but uh, let's pray and we'll get into the word on Holy Communion, okay? And by the way, we, uh, we're going to start with, uh, I have um, wine, uh, grape juice, whatever you want, and I have a cracker. So we're gonna have communion today. So if you want, I'll give you time to, um, Go get it, pause it, and go get the uh, the stuff for communion, and then we'll have it together, okay? All right, so let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for this time that you've given us together, Lord God. Father, we, give, we thank you, Lord God, for the Holy Communion, Lord. It is such a special event, Lord God. It is so special in our lives. And Father, we thank you for it. We thank you for giving this to us. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for giving this to us and to make our bodies whole and to make us healed, Lord God. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, you may have heard uh, that, that I said whole and healed because the Holy Communion does that for us. Um, let, let's read what um, 1 Corinthians 11 says. Okay. For I received from the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken. Do this in remembrance of me. Now, it's important that we understand that he took the bread separately from the wine. It's utmost importance that you understand this, that the bread and the wine or the juice are two separate items. And we'll get into that in a minute. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body, excuse me, will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. This is where, this is where erroneous teaching comes in. Okay? In an unworthy manner. It's, it's the manner in which you take it. It doesn't matter if you're clean before that. You are made clean. This, this is important that we understand this, that we are clean by the blood of Jesus. We come already righteous before him. And so we are able to take the blood. The unworthiness is, is in the manner that we take, the, that we take communion. So um, let me read on. But let a man examine himself, 
and so let him eat the bread and drink the cup. For he, he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. See, this is why I, I wouldn't take it. Because I thought, man, I, I sinned, I have fallen short, I, I, I've done wrong, and, and I don't want judged. I mean, I'm, my mom doesn't raise no fool. <laughs> uh, you know, you don't want judged. Yet, the Word of God is, is, is there for us. He, he wants us to take communion, and I wasn't taking it. I was uh, eliminating it from my life. I would walk up and fake it and then come back and... You know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense because it, it's the word of God. It, it's, I mean, why would Jesus want to do something bad for us? I mean, let me finish reading. For this reason, many, you, many of you are weak and sick among you and many sleep. Okay, so I, I thought this was a, a bad thing. I thought that communion was was, was evil. Uh, it, it was it was meant to judge me. It was it was meant to, to to persecute me. But it wasn't. See, communion is made to heal. It's made to, to, to make you whole. It's for the forgiveness of sins. And this is important to, to the believer that we know that he loves us, that we then know that, that he's there for us. I mean, John 10:10. 10, 10 says, the thief uh, does not come except to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay, But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Okay, So I'm going to read it again. The thief does not come except to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly.